from Gujarat, we travel through the fan range of mountains in Tajikistan to Panjikhand in the Zarabshan River Valley. The ancient city of Panjikhand was an important city on the Silk Road and capital of the Sogdian Kingdom. The city was abandoned towards the end of the 8th century. The modern city of Panjikhand is known for its native poets Rodaki, the father of the Persian poetry, and Kliakshi Rali for the modern poetry, and of course its fruits. The ruins of the ancient city of Panjikhand are near the modern city. The city was divided into Shakhistan, that is, residential quarters, Ark, or the citadel, Rabat, and the necropolis. There were two temples in the Shakhistan. A small museum near the ruins houses a few artifacts. But the priceless frescoes from the temples are in the Hermitage Museum of St. Petersburg and a few in Dushanbe Museum. After the accelerated spread of Islam, the Arabs treated the region as a colony. This was registered by the Sogdian Kingdom's last king, Devanshtish. In 722, Devashtesh was defeated and Panjikant was abandoned. By pure chance, we met Abdul Rahman, a native of a place near Panjikant, and pursuing his PhD from a university in Israel. By nature, by nature. Uh, just by um, you are working in some university? He's a PhD. So I am a PhD student from Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Oh. Israel. Oh, from Israel. Yeah, I, I, I originally I uh, here from I here. From, yes, I'm uh, here, but uh, uh, I have scholarship in uh, mm -hmm. uh, Hebrew in University. Museum. In museum, you can see uh, battle Rustam yeah, yeah. with dragon. Yeah. Yeah. It is from Shachnama, but this city before Shachnama. Oh. These are ceramics. Yes. You are going to put it. First of all, yes, if, if all, the all the part we can found, we can uh, build, Assemble yes, yeah. uh, rebuild, but uh, we can draw, you know, this. after that we can report and publication for publication, we can uh, show this, uh, this profiles and uh, this is chronology of ceramics and Many. Yeah. when, <laughs> of course, we, we didn't have a lot of time because we uh, we are busy, we were we busy there. there. Where did you find sitting Buddha? Here only. This year, this area. Oh, this area. Yes. It's in, on wood. Yes, on wood, but it's burned wood. You know, mm. if yeah. it's like uh, simple wood, but we cannot find mm. because condition is not good, mm. and uh, we can found things burning and. Okay, guys. It's mm -hmm. very clear that city was burned. Yes, mm -hmm. we can holes 
for example, these blue holes mm. from here, uh, we, you, yeah. you can see mm. it was very Big. uh, bigger for ghosts, for ghosts from everything, yeah. everywhere. For a meeting kind of. Yes, for some, meeting. Some yeah. So, and they have uh, own temples, and I mean, for the uh, Zoroastrian temple. Yes, Zoroastrian temple because Zoroastrianism was dominant religion in, in, in this area. Yes, in this area, but we can see elements from Shiva, pa Shiva and poverty. So uh, sculpture of Shiva and poverty, and we can see Kartikeya. 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 So uh, a mage, a mage of uh, mm. Kartikeya. We can see. Um, uh, where is the Mah Shiva Mahakala, Parvati image? You know, Mahakala. Mahakala. Yes, yes, okay, it's yeah. uh, very... Mm -hmm. Oh, ferocious. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, will, I will finish my uh, final project uh, mm -hmm. by one curse about religion in, in India and China. So, uh, I, I finished about uh, Indian influences, uh, religion influences and Sogdian beliefs. Mm -hmm. So, here, I mean. So, uh, there he was streets uh, and uh, not one street one of them here mm. uh, and other uh, next to it yes near street and uh, so how is the drainage there are pipes over there what in the museum we yeah. see it's ceramic pipes are these used for drainage water drain yes yeah. yes uh, not not water drain about uh, irrigation mm. about something we are not sure for mm. for these things because we don't know where where comes uh, water here, and of course we don't we know about one uh, small river okay. here in um, in Cetadol, a down of Cetadol, Cetadol okay. which called Kainar, Kainar, uh, uh, and maybe in ancient Persian is Kai, it's king. Mm. And Nahar, it's uh, water. Water. water sources. Yeah. 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 No. Uh, what were you saying about that street? So there were many streets. The, yes. This so mine street, street of the one of the mine mm. street of the city, be, but okay. this uh, this street be, behind behind, mm. behind this area mm. was uh, one of them. It's but small street. Yeah. So and. Uh, here was after the. You, do you know about uh, about uh, if you read about Penjikan, of course we uh, we should know about one inscription, Sogdian inscription, which which was found from uh, from Mount of Mu. Okay. Uh, it's it's very information uh, informative uh, uh, things. About uh, legal uh, legal Digital. documents yeah. and uh, communication between local leaders and Arab leaders, yeah. so it was very. Uh, so you can see in Eng you can read in English, of course. It's it pub public. Yes. English. So you can read the script. No, I, yeah. it's I I'm, okay. I cannot because yeah. it's very <laughs> difficult. It's different. different yes. right. our uh, supervisor. Yeah who works uh, mm. in, in this area, uh -huh. you, you can see two, two, two people here, yes, 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 yes. yeah. his name Pavel Borisovich Luria okay. from Hermitage Museum, okay. he knows a little bit more, N not a little bit more, of course mm. he's a specialist of uh, Sogdian language and yeah. he's a uh, philologist, yeah. uh, first of all. <laughs> yeah. But after the, uh, after the consequence um, of Arabic conquest in Central Asia, yeah. people go to down to yeah. new city. Okay. I mean, to abandoned, modern, yeah, yes, to modern city, and maybe part of them go to mountain part yeah, yeah. in Yarnob or uh, Yarnob in mount, high mountain. Just the city was abandoned and finished. Yes, and uh, about. Uh, 780s. Yes, uh, life stop, is yeah. stopped here. I, if if I my English was a little bit better, um, I couldn't 
explain. No, still, it's so, okay. It's okay. It's yeah, okay. It's okay. So, whatever so, we have expressed is so well enough for us. The ethnic diversity of the residents of Panjikant is apparent from the skulls collected from the ruins. These groups followed Buddhism, Shaivite cult of Hinduism, Christianity and Islam. Majority of the residents were Zoroastrians. As the residents came from different cultures like Greek, Persian, Indian and Chinese, their art and culture became an interesting amalgamation and is witnessed in the surviving art. The Shiva Parvati statue in clay is housed in Dushanbe Museum of Antiquity. Notice the Yadnopavit of Shiva. Parvati is dressed more like a Greek goddess in a flowing dress. In the Soviet era, the statue was cut into pieces for easy handling and transport and reassembled in the museum. The 16 meter long statue of Buddha in Nirvana state from Takhtin Sangin was also cut into 32 pieces and reassembled. That was the Russian sensitivity for the Asian art. The statue is in pre gandha style, which is apparent from the straight hair of Buddha. The Dushanbe Museum houses some of the well-preserved frescoes of Panjikant as the evidence of the glorious period of Panjikant. 